G'day and welcome to today's InterCAD blog post. What I want to have a look at today is a question that came from a customer just a couple of weeks ago in regards to applying custom properties to cut list items in a part. And uh, the customer wanted to be able to, he had a set of materials that they use. Um, the names didn't really, the names and the materials in SolidWorks didn't really mean a lot to them. They just wanted to be able to enter in values that meant something to them. And they also wanted to be able to just pick from a, a, a drop down uh, so that users weren't sitting there typing in items so they knew what they had to select from, uh, which would just reduce errors. So what we uh, came up with is using the, um, the custom properties tab over here. Now, what you can do to is you can generate a form that saves into here that you can you can key into or select from fields to populate these lists. So you know you could, in properties you want say material to populate with something else. So what we'll do is we'll open up our uh, property tab builder 2015. It is there, but you can also find it under 2015 tools <coughs> property tab builder. Okay. Now, <clears throat> in SolidWorks, uh, you'll, I'll show you in a minute where where this is looking for this file. But what we're going to do is we're going to set the type to weldment. You can set it to obviously parts, assemblies, and drawings. You could set it to an, you can make an assembly one where you could have all the uh, custom property items uh, generated in a form here, and you could click through parts in an assembly and apply the uh, custom properties to the to the parts without having to open them, very handy. But we're going to stick it to weldment, um, enter materials from drop down. There's a little um, text there that you're going to that's got, that will appear at the top for the user. We're going to name this group box. I'll just leave that as group box and list. I'm going to drop this in. My list is going to be called material. Material, and with your list, you can get this information from a text file, Excel, or, or an access database. But we're just going to key them in. Uh, you could also use uh, or select to allow users to enter custom values, which we don't want because we don't want people entering in anything by themselves. We just want to select from this list, and you can specify whether they are configuration specific or whether they are, they are across all configurations. So you'll see here my drop down list. That's what's going to appear on the right hand side. I can then save this. Now you need to save this in the same location that SolidWorks is looking for it. Now in my case, it's going to be Program Data SolidWorks 2015. Ooh, don't get tripped up by this. That's actually going to save it in 2013. So we want to save it in 2015 and we want WLDPRP, which is a weldment property. Obviously, PRT, PRP for part, ASM, PRP for assembly, and DRW, PRP for drawing. So if I click Save now, and I can close this, we go up here into your Tools and Options, File Locations, Custom Property Files, that's where it's looking for that template. Okay, so that's critical. Because over here, when you click on a cut list item, it's going to go looking for that template and give you whatever you've saved in that location under that template name. So, what we want to be able to do is click a cut list item, select the material, and hit apply. When we right click and we go properties, you'll see that that material has now been applied. We can then go to another cut list item. Select another material, hit apply, properties, there's my material there. And you could just continue going down through the tree, selecting materials and applying them. And obviously these um, items can then be populated through to a cut list in a drawing. Um, so yeah, very handy to be able to just select the items in the tree, select from a drop down. So Sort of killing two birds with one stone there, not allowing users to enter in anything um, and making it simpler and quicker for them and also um, 
controlling the information that's being put in. Uh, thanks very much for listening.